Listen, we all love a life hack, whether that's a cheeky discount, free stuff, or a way to stand out from your competition. So come along as I'll walk you through these seven life hacks that you'll get as an IMB student. People love to talk about the importance of incorporating superfoods into your diet. And I think that sentiment is even more true when we're talking about your media diets. As an IMB student, you need to be up to date with the latest developments in business and technology. Thankfully, as a UCL student, you'll have access to the superfood of the media diet, a free financial time subscription, which would normally cost about $4.99 per year. You should also confidently use the FT for any citations in any of the reports and essays that you'll be writing. If the world of business and finance is slightly new to you, I highly recommend subscribing to the FT News Briefing podcast wherever you get your podcasts. It's a great accessible way of exploring topics like business, tech and politics. And it's just 10 minutes you can do it every morning and you'll be a much more informed person. At IMB, we are one of the very few university students who have a dedicated careers team. And I cannot stress this enough, consider interacting with them as a core part of your curriculum. They source you opportunities and through one-on-one -on -one sessions and workshops, they'll ensure that you'll actually land these job opportunities. While the student center is certainly a gorgeous space to study, it can get quite crowded and busy periods. If you're struggling to find free space in the student center or just looking for a less busy study space, we actually have a secret building a minute away from the student center, only available to engineering and school of management students. This building has shared study spaces as well as private rooms that you can book for group work sessions. While most of you probably done some amazing stuff already, it's normal to feel like you need some extra meat on your CV. Thankfully, a lot of activities that are part of the core curriculum fit perfectly fine on a CV and showcase your skills to potential employers. Specifically, the first year module, Foundations of Management, offers some great activities that really shine on your CV. Later on, you can use your experience at Society's The UCL How to Change the World event, Design Sprints and Competitions to pad your CV. Remember, your resume is a way for you to craft a narrative to your future employers. So don't be shy, show them what you're up to at IMB. In the UCL library, there are these things called uh, physical books. They're like so vintage, you have to check them out. They're basically like PDFs on dead trees or like single use Kindles with only one book in them. It's so exotic. You can fight me in the comment section about paper versus digital, but as our reading habits changed, so did the services that the UCL library offers. There is a massive selection of digital books, articles, databases, and journals on the UCL library services website that you can access for completely free as a UCL student. If you're in an urgent need for a laptop for your studies, the UCL library also has you covered. There are these laptop vending machines all around campus where you can just walk up, use your ID card and get a laptop for 24 hours. Just make sure to save any files that you worked on to either an external storage drive or a cloud platform because these laptops reset themselves after every use. While you're at one of the UCL libraries, you can use the printers there to print any document that you want. I linked a tutorial down below on how to get your computer ready to use the print at UCL network. You'll certainly need to use some specialist software during your degree and chances are it will be free to download 
on the UCL software database website. With over 500 applications, it will certainly cover most of your needs. You can get apps like the Microsoft Office Suite, Tableau, SPSS, or Visual Studio Professional for completely free. You must listen to me and make me this promise. Do not buy anything full priced in the next three years. Fashion? There is a student discount for that. Tech? Snatch that student discount. Food? Books? Skincare? Digital subscriptions? I'll guarantee you that you'll find a student discount for everything that you'll need. So, once you have access to your UCL email address, Make sure to sign up for websites like Uni Days or Student Beans and only start your back to school shopping after that. So there you have it. I've certainly taken advantage of these seven life hacks in my time at UCL and I think you should too. If you think I missed something, let me know and drop them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.